Hey man, how you doing? What's going on everyone? Welcome back to some more. Just double checking. Dragon Age 2. Just double checking to see if everything has saved. I ended up saving all my any files, my save files, when I ended up having to uh, fix an issue with my computer. Um, to put it quickly, is that I've been neglecting some drivers. Alright? that have been causing issues. Every time I switch, uh, switch to different audio channels on my computer, sometimes audio just crashes and I just reset the computer, right? And it's been like that since October. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I try to remedy it. Oh, it doesn't do it, it doesn't fix anything. I, I guess that's just what my computer does now. And in turn, um, that turned into Adobe Premiere fucking up and then that turned into a whole bunch of, uh, other things I used fucking up, so much so that I couldn't even play any video file on my computer. Not even a GIF. Not even a GIF. And, um, a lot of things started messing up. What is it? I seen, like, uh, my, some video stuff. Like, <laughs> something with my graphics card got fucked up. Like, it is real bad. So I did a fresh reinstall, and we're here. Uh... <clears throat> Hey man, hey man, welcome to another session of Dragon Age. It's totally not like the past three days, you know, with it what being, you, mean you, can't help me? you know, this New Year's Eve. This is a domestic matter, Sirrah. Oh boy. If your wife has chosen to my leave computer you, there's blew nothing up, we can do. But I fixed it, so Ninas we're good. Is my wife. No issues. She's legally my bound wife. to me. Bring her back. We're my done. My wife. Yeah. Okay. So this guy. Useless. Why are we still paying those sluggards? Wants his wife back, right? Look at Meryl, that little bug-like girl. Is Meryl, like, a fan favorite? There has to be fan favorites throughout the series, right? I know Morrigan is one of them because I see F SFM porn of her all the time. Right? I see Liliana every once in a while. And, um, why don't we have Meryl's armpits? Oh, I've never seen her. Uh, is there something I can do? Play me? Pay me instead? I'm <laughs> pay me. You should instead. pay someone else. Oh like no, me. she looked at me. I like being paid. Dude, she if looked at me. Dude, Ned, <sighs> I will gladly pay We're you. Fucked. That foolish woman has caused me nothing but embarrassment. She needs to be dragged home. The guards disagree. They are more disagreeable than my wife. Maybe your friend is more sensible. Her family is getting suspicious. They think I might have. <clears throat> done something to her even if well i just want to make sure they know i didn't do it <laughs> what do you mean even if huh what do you what do you mean even if huh what's going on with that even if e even if what 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 also if you're wondering if my fate's lit up a little differently it, i don't have my second monitor hooked up i i ended up taking it off when i was doing a whole bunch of other stuff anyway is Nanette in danger? Did you want her back? Where is she in danger? Do you What's think she doing? Nanette do? might be in trouble. It's her own doing. Gallivanting about with men half her age. Oh, she's just cheating on me. She's just trying to show me I am tied to her purse strings. Oh, she's the dominant one in this relationship, huh? Is Meryl taller than everyone? I'm kind of looking at Meryl's proportions. I think all the girls share the same model, right? But it definitely looks like they kind of stretch models for some characters. Like, there is a boy character that we see, and he looked like a man, but he looked like he was in, um... He got stoneforged. What is it called? Oh my god. He, he got that steam thing. He got all fucked up. Her, fa is her family. Uh, let's see. Do you? Don't you want her? You're back? more concerned what her family thinks than what happened to her. Ninette keeps the company of other men, huh? And makes no secret of it. I'll be better off with her gone. <sighs> well, as long as her family knows I had nothing to do with it, they would ruin me otherwise. You're a terrible husband, and you wonder why she's gone. Bah, marriage. I. Uh, uh, um, uh, <coughs> 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 Ladies, uh, 
He's a terrible husband, right? Let's see, what would my character say right now? I don't even think about anything related to love for my character. Um, because he would probably wouldn't really think too much about it. Uh, let's see. You're a terrible husband, and you wonder why she's. Uh, I just go back. Marriage. Marriage is more trouble than it's worth. Oh my God, dude! She keeps looking at me. I keep thinking that's like, yeah, negative like five. This. We negative were five. in love. Once. Negative five. She defied her parents negative to marry me. Sometimes I wonder if I dreamed those years. Uh. Her family is suspicious. Why would her family think you did something to her? They think I married her for her inheritance. And they know we have been fighting. They believe this is reason enough for me to hurt her. But I swear, on Andraste's pyre, I have done nothing. You're vile? I won't help you. Um, this seems like an extremely weird situation that I don't even see my character even getting involved in. Although, personally, I want to see, like, what this involves. But, like, it's some weird marriage dispute. Avalyn herself is head of the Kingsguard, head of the Guard right now. She says this issue is a non-issue, and I will default to her since she's pretty much family, right? And also I have, like, a little crush on her, so... You're vile. You don't even care if your wife's alive or dead. I'm not helping you. So, you would leave her to die just to spite me? <laughs> if you reconsider, talk to Zethan at the Blooming Rose. Yes, Nanette visited halls. They even sent her flowers. <laughs> to our home! And you wonder why I hate her? I will definitely say, he's in a really bad situation. Look, they even gave him, they even give him the fucking, oh my god, they even give him the meme. They memed him. <laughs> the fucking Giga Chad meme. They memed him, bro. I don't even know what the other is. Giga Chad and Soy Boy, I, I don't even remember the other one. Let's see, so, it's a bunch of walking around right now and uh, getting a whole bunch of new side quests because we ended up doing a major quest. I move to Val Royal. Yeah? What's that? That sounds like a fancy name for Valorant. Oh no, she's crying. Edward, please, can you help me? My brother. Oh my god, everyone's family is missing. Cheer up. What about him? Tell me what's wrong. What happened to your brother? Karen was always so devout. So idealistic. Oh he no. He was so proud when the Templars accepted him. Oh no. I pleaded with him not to join the Order. But Don't tell listen. me. Don't tell you me. You hear dark rumors about the Templars. Yeah. And Knight Commander Meredith. And now my brother is gone. What did she do? Kill him? Like, what? what is this? I... Yeah, he ended up losing a money match and he ended up getting sent to the Shadow Well. Tell me about Meredith. What do people say about Knight Commander Is Meredith? this our way of introducing oh, ourselves to this character? Virus. They laud at the service she does in keeping the mages in check. But others say she is terribly fierce and utterly without pity. That she sees demons everywhere. It'd be funny it if she's possessed by demons. whisper such things. Um, okay, so it just means like she's, uh, she's absolute in her justice, right? What have you heard about the Templars? People harboring escaped mages just disappear. Templars interrogate and threaten passers-by. My friend has a cousin who's a mage, and she says he was made tranquil against his will. You hear more with every passing day. What are you saying? Pull yourself together, woman. I'm here to help you. Just tell me what you know. See? You're being hysterical. Reading. You're annoying me. Then suddenly, no more letters. I wrote him many times with no response. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander Meredith threw me out. They won't tell me anything. Well, that kind of sucks, I guess. Look, I'm, like, editing settings on the fly. All right, let's see. Uh, how can I help? What's in it for me? Your Adeline. brother may indeed be in trouble. What can I do for you? Perchance, what do you mean by that? In your this journeys, character is extremely you attractive to me. Gallows, I don't know Ask the other recruits, Wilmard and Hugh, about my brother. Okay. They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. If anyone knows where he is, it's them. Make her bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. All right, so we'll help this one because it's specifically with a family. Even though he kind of did it himself and 
you know, Templars and all that stuff. Look, all the women have the same engorged giant breast body. It's very weird. You don't see ladies. Like, this body's a little bit different, but I think it's made different by the clothes. Like, um... Like, look at this Chantry lady. This one that I have, I have a crush on. Hello there, Magistrate Venard. Who are you? You there, Ferelden. I wish to speak with you. You there, Ferelden. I've heard you have dealings with certain elements in the city. Hey. You can get things done on the sly, as they say. Someone needs to cut their hair. I'm saying this right now. One of us has to go home and cut their hair. It is a little embarrassing. On the sly, and... What of it, old man? I am a magistrate in this city, and I expect to be addressed with respect. Especially from someone who might be working for me soon. Brother, the man I sentenced magistrate to Final Fantasy twelve. That's what I keep on thinking of. He's been tracked to an abandoned ruin outside the city. A okay. request that should have been made of the guard. What was this man? That's all? What was this man's crime? Why is there such a clamor to catch this man? What has he done? He's escaped. That's reason enough to catch him. <laughs> Sounds too We're easy. both intelligent people. There's something in the ruins, isn't there? There is something, yes. Spooky there skeletons. are creatures in the ruins. The guards I sent are ill-equipped to deal with such beasts. Oh boy, what is, I'm, I'm going to do it, but like, what what kind of creatures? Do you know what, what manner of Mylurks, they are? Murlocs? I don't know what they look like. I've never seen one myself. The guards say these things have already torn through a full company of men. Can I ask? Uh, th there should be a thing with Evelyn popping in. She's like, yeah, it's it's a whole bunch of Genlocks. It'd be easier to seal up the entrance and let the beasts take care of him. I believe in justice, Ferelden, not unbridled slaughter. I will not let prisoners be eaten just because I don't want to get my hands dirty. So why not send I'm a guard? Sure if you send so we already know this, this but let's see if he fun. expands us on it. No. The more guards no. who know, the no. easier it is for this to get out. Those men gossip like old fishwives. <laughs> True. I'll take the job. Dude. Bring the fugitive in oh alive. Oh my god. Not only will you be well paid, you'll have the gratitude of a city magistrate. Useful for a refugee. Man, I wish this quest was over a year ago. I would have been, I would have gotten, I would have popped my pussy for this. Uh, the Blooming Rose, the First Sacrifice. What is that? The First Sacrifice. Uh, the enemy, secondary. Do, 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 the first, is this the Jenathan and Elf of the Blooming Rose? Jenathan. I think that's the one that I chose to have sex with in the um, episode that you guys did not see. As in, in the episode that was squished as can be. Um... Yeah, I'm really sad that uh, that you guys didn't get to see like the joke when he was like, "Oh yeah, I'm a premium customer, baby." And by the way, I've been an extremely naughty boy. Like that response. <laughs> Holy shit! Calm down there. Calm down there. Yeah, guys. <laughs> But we chill out. I am totally surprised that they took out. Please, I am literally mashing one. Please, please. The auto selecting to not attack is very good. They definitely say that. Um, so this conspirator isn't bones. It isn't anything like that. It's literally just a a person who disappeared here and uh we were just beating their asses mercenaries mercantile fellers easy wow 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 <laughs> that's so much experience points guys guys that's so much experience points you guys don't even know uh vicount's keep eustix's pommel okay oh my goodness just running around doing this. Thank God I, I was able to save a lot of my mods. When I was saving my documents folder, I'm like, isn't this just a bunch of saves and images and all that stuff? And I ended up looking at it and I was like, damn, it's all the mods that I downloaded. 
They're all just chilling here. Uh, Meryl wants to be welcomed home. She will not have that. Uh, it is nighttime. The Viscount does not want to see me. The un unbidden process. Enemies among us. Among us. Oh, Viscount. Oh boy. I'm really w looking forward to and look even like resetting my computer 100% factory resettings resetting my hard drive you know it still it still lags it's still hanging still not responding during these fucking transition periods I will definitely say loading screens the most cocked a man can be Look at this, we're going to a different side. Insist if you must, but Viscount Dumas will see no one. If you've news of Seamus, I will relay it to him. Fine. Tell Dumas my scouts have tracked the boy and his canary captor to the wounded coast. Oh. I'm taking a full company after them, and when I return, I expect him to make a show of the reward. So many to deal with one Kunari seems... excessive. He may be Talva shot. The winters leave nothing to chance. Thou... Get out of my bloody way! Oh my god, easy there, lady. Jesus. Yes, what is it? Uh, what's her problem? If this is about a rescue, that woman did not seem the type. She is the type I fear. Oh, look at the next scene. Attract. As I told the others, Viscount Dumas' son, Seamus, is Whoa. missing. We suspect he was taken by a Kunari. If you would like to try your hand at securing his safe return, feel free. I have certainly granted no exclusivity to the Winters and their violent approach. Yeah, I'll bring him the back. The boy will be home fun. soon enough. I want to be surprised in what's going to happen. You don't have to explain anything to me. But the reward goes to whomever brings him back safe. Hey, if this is a, ra a, a rat race... you are welcome to have with the Winters, should you encounter... Of the winters. Avalyn liked that. That's pretty nice. Avalyn got her rocks off on that. Where's that guy kicking the wall? That's my favorite voice line. Can you Not stop? much room in the barracks, but there's nowhere I'd rather be. Not much room in the barracks. And guardsman uses. I think I found something of yours. You found this? I don't know what to say. Yeah, why was it all the way up there? That's kind of weird, man. That is kind of weird. Let's see. Uh, this is another cleanup episode doing side quests and whatnot. Uh, the conspirators. One conspirator was killed through the main. Eliminate the carded thugs. Lots and lots of second there. Soldiers receive. Find a giant spider gland. Magister's orders. Uh, is this a main plot? Enemies among us. Speak to the Templars. Recruits. So we'll go check that one out. Rush. Shepherding wolves. Varric has heard rumors that some of the Chantry have been making quiet inquiries about Lowtown about the Canari. No one seems willing to talk about it though. Um, companion quest. Nice home. Nice crime you have around here. Take Merle to her house. Uh, welcome home. Speaking of her, uh, did we not already do that? I swear we already did that. Uh, talk to Varric in the Hangman Pub. Uh, you know what? We should probably, uh, focus on Varric a bit, because he has been in our party for quite a long time, and we've been pushing back his specific quest for a while, so let's move it a little bit forward before we start doing, um, some more side quests, because, uh, last time it, it was more, it was more, uh, oh god, is it at night? Oh, jeez. Last time we did it, let's see, question answers. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna be nighttime for him. Bait and switched. You fucking liar. You just want me to go back. Okay. Um, pretty much last session, uh, half of it was doing more of these specific side quests. Dude, these aren't even side quests. Now I'm thinking about it. Maybe I should focus on doing the actual side quest, right? And then leave the secondary to me out of recording. I think maybe that'll be fine. Because, uh, like, me walking and giving her a pommel, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't think that's it. Um, I wouldn't want to watch that. Just kidding, I would watch everything. Why don't you arrest us, Aveline? What? We break the law, I'm pretty sure. There are laws for almost everything. You're not a bad guard, are you? 
No. That's good. Is it because you're fond of Hawk? I kind of am. How oh, very nice for you. Keep it to yourself. I'd rather keep it with him. Oh, no. Please don't be a Liara. Please, dude. Please, I don't want to hear that shit, man. Don't say that shit to me, man. Let's see, get back to work. What is this? Get back to work is secondary. Convince the, the remaining miners to return to work. They can be found in data. Uh, okay, let's get this over with. Maybe there is secondary that are worth it. Hey, this one that rescued me from them dragons. A fellow for Elden, no less. Guys, you're not going to like what's going to happen. A thousand thanks for saving Jansen's worthless hide. Worthless, am I? My farm supplied eggplant to half of the South Reach. Yeah? More eggplant supplied half the bastards in South Reach. I am very glad. You're a real hero. Now, what brings you here? The mine's safe. I killed the dragons. It's safe to return to work. What if there's more dragons later? Or something worse, like uh, bigger dragons? <sighs> I go back to the missus without this job. She'll rip me apart, sure as any dragon. What can we do? That bastard Hubert is the only one willing to hire us. I'm about a race. You work for me now. I can protect you. I own half the mine now. I'll keep it safe. Do I own really? half the mine? I said no, no to, to it. to work for one of our own. If you don't give us a fair shake, who would? Is this Back a broken work, part of the Happy quest? To take more of Hubert's coin. I wonder if I broke it a bit. That's kind of weird, because I said no to doing it, and then he's like, alright, good. Go, uh, go do this for me, you dumb motherfucker. I'm like, okay. Okay. Alright, secondary. Side quest. Last of his line. One conspirator, uh, side quests, uh, it's so interesting that secondary and side quests are split. Um, but we want to get questions and answers. So we'll go back. I don't even, I don't even remember where the pub is. Hangman's right there, right? If only I could double jump. If I could double jump, I would have no worry. You know what? Seeing how, like, advanced... The combat, no, excuse me. The combat is an advanced. Well, well, think about it. Hey, this would be super advanced. You know, based on the Baldur's Gate, where like where this came from, right? Like, it is pretty fucking crazy. We're not watching text boxes. We're watching text boxes above people's heads, and then we're not seeing their debuffs, right? So, <laughs> it, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if. In Inquisitions, there's like a double jump. What's happening? You owe us, Isabella. Well, Lucky, I'll tell you what. Since Great the information Google you Google. gave me was worth nothing, that's what I'll pay you. Me and my boys will get our money's worth, bitch. Oh, you poor sweet thing. Bitch. Nice. She smashed him with her boots. It looks like it though. Extremely slow. Tell me, Lucky, is this worth dying for? Rub roll. I didn't think so. Humana, humana, am I right, Varric? I want to go talk to Brown Mommy, but I, I gotta talk to Varric. I, I promised so, it. I've been dying to know. What was going through your head when you fought that ogre? I'm gonna be completely honest with you. It was like last week, and I barely remember it. Maker, that's a big bloodlust. Protect my family. I knew that whatever happened, I had to get the others to safety. But lots of people talk about nobility and selflessness, generally in the same stories that have magic beans. 
Somehow, Hawk, I imagine things won't be dull with you around. Not that I expect the deep roads to be boring, mind you. Constant threat of doom does tend to keep you awake. Something about Bartan. Anything in particular I should know about Learn your about brother. his brother a bit, huh? To understand Bartrand, you've got to understand the Dwarven Merchants Guild. These are dwarves who would sell their mothers if they thought it'd get them a better share of the Lyrium market. Anyone who deals with them has to sleep with a knife under their pillow. In my family, that's Bartrand. What are your plans for this trip into the Deep Roads? Bartrand's running the show. On Draste's ass, he'd probably do that even if we weren't paying for everything. The tide we're looking for is supposed to be a week's travel from the surface. So I hope you aren't scared of the dark. We've got supplies, muscle, excavators. The plan is to carry out everything that's not nailed down. Do you say it's a week's travel from the surface? What the fuck? Because how I always felt about the deep deep roads, right? Like, this this right here is land. Oh my god, there's a building above it, right? And then the deep roads are, like, kind of right here with, like, a, a little bit of cross separating for the stability, right? But no, that that is, like... Ooh, sheesh. <laughs> sheesh, spooky. <laughs> if we'll be working together, I should find out more about you. True enough. I suppose you ought to know my credentials. My family came from Orzammar. Noble House Tethrus, until my father got caught fixing provings. He and our whole house got exiled. No huge loss. I was born up here. Sunshine suits me just fine. You know, it's funny. We got that, uh... We ended up getting that just from reading his stuff and just kind of talking Are about it. Are you a it, merchant? Right? A mercenary? I'm a younger son. It's a difficult and dangerous profession. A lot of us die of boredom. Fortunately, being Bartrand's younger brother keeps me on my toes. Maker knows he lacks subtlety. I'm the one who pulls strings to keep the coterie out of our hair. Keep us just a whisker ahead of the other families. Is there like a glare in the camera? What the fuck? Have you been underground? You're looking for excitement? Have any war stories? What are the deep roads like? Well, I could tell you the standard tales. Legions of darkspawn, ravenous beasts, cave-ins. I've spent my whole life in Kirkwall. Dangerous mm. enough most days, but it doesn't compare to the deep roads. So, this will be, let's just call it an adventure, I guess. Okay. Great. Now we're adventurers. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. Hey, now, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I have to talk to a delicious brown mummy. I've never met a dwarf before. Please, That's guys, you're cocking too much time frolicking in the woods, Daisy. Dwarves don't frolic. Dalish don't really frolic either. Not in the woods, anyway. You have sanctioned frolicking areas? No, just not in the woods. The trees get jealous. But you do frolic? Of course we do. We wouldn't be elves otherwise. Wow, look at that. She has her own way of coming back and just talking shit. Also, I just noticed the floor is like completely covered in blood. Specifically around us. When we're injured, do we bleed? Do the characters bleed everywhere? No, just in that one specific area, huh? That's kind of weird. Yeah, look at that. Just in this one specific area that fit perfectly my my wonderful crew. Yeah, look at that. They they put. So, I excuse me, my damn. Interesting. Because my damn. <laughs> oh. My. And here I thought the only men in this place were besotted fools who couldn't hoist the mainsail. I. I got to touch my mainsail. Like the men you fought, hoist the mainsail. I'm. I'm built different. You mean like the men you sent scrambling from the tavern? Exactly like them. Worthless twits. I'm Isabella. Previously Captain Isabella. Sadly, without my ship, the title rings a bit hollow. You're Ferelden, aren't you? You have that look about you. 
I was in Denerim not too long ago. You know, you might be just what I'm looking for to solve a little problem I have. <sighs> Why should I care, you two? I'm always ready to help. Someone from my past has been pestering me. I've arranged for a duel. If I win, he leaves me alone. But I don't trust him to play fair. Well, wouldn't he just I die? I need someone to watch my back. <laughs> Avalyn, look away. Stop. Who's Stop. this person you've arranged to meet? His name is Hader. We worked together back in Antiva. He's never liked me. He's been asking about me all around Kirkwall. Thought I'd get it over with and meet him face to face. Why a duel? <laughs> I like duels. It's what I do. And if I win, he'll be dead. Problem solved. Yeah, I was about to say, I was like, he wouldn't be a problem if you just died, but she's what working. What makes you think cheap. I'm right for this? You saw me talking to Lucky, didn't Long you? Long range. Those boys couldn't manage simple information gathering. I can't trust the riffraff in this place to do anything right. Bubber. But you, you're different. Oh, okay, ma'am, I'll do it. I think it. I could manage watching your back. Yeah. Oh, it should. I'll bet. I've arranged to meet Hader in High Town after dark. I'll meet you there. Ooh. What's a speed, Griffin? <laughs> Do they zip around Hader's speed terrorizing Speed, Griffin? I don't even know what that is. What is that? Maybe I should have listened to it, huh? Uh, let's see. We had Wayward Son, which I think is uh, an actual side quest. So we'll do that, and then mm, uh, getting Isabella into the party, right, uh, is doing her quest. She's not going to be part of the exhibition, because I'm literally, it, that's going to be Carver, me, and whatnot. Like, I'm going to be kicking Meryl out. Um... I, I want the I want the expedition to be with like the main guys, the people that I uh, that I ended up um, trusting the most, right? Uh, side quest. No, it was the last of his line. What is Wayward Son? Wayward Son. According to Vark, Templars have been actively hunting a young man named Fenril. Uh, his mother Arani lives in Lowtown, Elven Aliage, and uh, yeah. He could wait, I guess. Um, we'll do last of his line. We'll get this out of the way. And not a serious. So, it's a close resemblance, then. Well, he tells stories. And you tell stories. Although, none of his begin... No shit. There I was. I'll have to give him some better stories, then. I will say it's pretty cool that they gave her they made her do like a different voice uh oh my god fine i'll do it god damn it <laughs> i accidentally walked in this direction uh whoa <laughs> easy there um uh, every girl look at this uh, with the elves they, they must need a tree the elves needs trees if you know what's good for you Alienage culture, you mean the most cucked culture in the world? The, literally, you sh you probably don't even, should even be considered an elf if you lived in alienage. Um, there have always been alienages. They have been around for as long as elves and shems have lived in the same lands. Ours isn't even the worst. They say the Val has 10,000 elves living within the space no bigger than Denim's Market. Why is that something to brag about? Their walls are supposedly so high that the daylight doesn't reach... Why do they do this to the elves? Don't reach the vendor hall until midday, but don't be so anxious to start tearing down the walls and picking fights with the guards. They keep out more than they keep in. We are... Yes, they're literally licking and kissing the boot, right? Um, no. Being kicked in the mouth of the boot and being sorry I got my blood on it. Let me clean it with my tongue. We don't have to live here, you know. Sometimes a family gets a good break and they buy a house in the docks or the outskirts of town. If they're lucky, they come back to the alienage after looters have burned their houses down. The unlucky ones just go to the pauper fields. Here, we're among family. 
We run, we look out for each other here, we do what we can to remember the old ways. Um, the flat ears have gone out there, they're stuck, they'll never be humans, and they're gone. They're thrown away being elves, so where does that leave them? Nowhere. Will elves cut off their ears? Madam, we'll do our best to find your son. But I cannot guarantee his safety if he continues to resist. Yeah, Alright, what fucked up place is this? What is this? He's like, This is the bathroom of Kirkwall. The great Kirkwall bathroom. Lowtown is home to the squalid elven alienage. Here, like most of the Dragon Age setting alienages, elves are packed into this tiny rundown apartments and effectively segregated from the human population. Kirkwall's image is more dilapidated than the rest of Lowtown, but the elves go to great length keeping the place looking bright and festive. The Venadal, the tree of the people, standing in the middle of the alienage is a symbol of elven pride and shared cultural identity, and it's lovingly cared for. Uh, it's difficult to say if the elves would continue confining themselves in the alienage, if they were given a chance to mingle, they might not admit it, but some feel that living amongst their kind is far better than living with humans, no matter how terrible the alien's life may be. Jenna TV. So, uh, people, people who don't, the worst is over. People who don't want to be part of the Dalish clan, but want to the part of like the normal life. Uh, this appears to be the slice of life they want, right? And you get to be slutty men. Look at that. Tits out. Uh, extremely slutty. Alright, what's going on here? I am sorry for your loss, mistress. Excuse me. But I can offer your son mercy. Mr. Templar, by in. the way. I'm trying to find him. Oh but my god, someone drew on her face. tolerate apostates. Your son's an apostate? I'm guessing that Templar wasn't here to offer your son his good wishes. Oddly enough, there's Arilan. two here. My boy, Fainriel. He's all I have. All my family. When I learned he had magic, I could not bear to send him to the Circle. But his connection to the Fade, it gives him nightmares. Dreams of demons speaking in his mind. I would rather lose him to the Circle than to himself. Seems like he got himself into uh, some Grey Warden juice. Where's Fenrir now? Are you Dalish? What exactly happened? Tell me the whole story. Please don't tell me this demon. I learned years ago that my son likely had magical talent. But we could not bear the thought of him locked in the gallows. So we hid. <laughs> and the nightmares began. Fenrir still refused to contact the Circle. But I... I truly think they are the only people who might save his life. Mm. Tell me about the nightmares. What kind of dreams is he having? No more nightmares is he having. He dreams of demons calling to him. Oh, pulling him into their boy. Work. Every day it grows harder to wake him. That is why I turn to the circle. They are the only ones that can protect a mage from his own powers. E are you Dalish? Those look like Dalish tattoos. Why do you live in the city? Probably for I a was son. born to the Dalish, but came to Kirkwall for a time and dallied with a human merchant. Vincento. When I found I was with child, oh, he's neither a... Vincento nor my tribe wished the burden of an elf-blooded human infant. Oh, he's I a half I raised Fainreal myself, here in the alienage. Okay. Well, I promise he's a mage, I'll help you out. Again. Hey, you guys then notice you there's a lot the of help mages quests now? And by the way, that's very is interesting. That is like a very central part of the story. Search. In the previous so one... Has been looking for him. If you speak to him in the gallows, he'll be able to tell you what gra- And Fainriel's father, Vincento, recently returned from Antiva. He's a merchant in the Low Town Bazaar. Fainriel might have sought him out. Mm, what's tell this me about this like? Templar. I believe he's a good man. He doesn't hate mages, but sees what it took me too long to realize. <laughs> Even the best-intentioned mages are at the mercy of their sleeping minds. There are other Templars who are much less sympathetic. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, we learned about Matilda, whatever her name is. Yeah, she'll fuck your son up. 
She'll do a Tekken combo on you and not give a fuck. You and Fenriel's father are not married. Vincento had no desire for a wife or an elf-blooded child. I haven't seen him since the day I told him. I have written, though, to keep him informed about he this child. He didn't even stay and think about it. Fenriel wanted to meet him. He was, he was just like, damn, moment longer than that's necessary. crazy. In peace. He ought to have his own life. Out from the shackles of the circle. Everyone should. My husband Wesley was a Templar. They're not all fanatics to be feared. Thank you. Weird. It has been a lonely time. We got two conversations with us. It's almost a relief to finally confront this openly. Fine. I guess I'll do all the quest. Still God. Jesus. The game's, the game's like, please, maybe do all the quests just a little bit. Do them all just a little bit. <laughs> but hey, this is actually what I wanted in Dragon Age Origins. I wanted people to pipe up a little bit more. Like, even during some of their quests, like, some characters don't even pipe up or say anything. They, like, just kind of exist. They just... <laughs> right? They just do that. All right, Vicento. Oddly enough, you're me. So, it's going to be a very interesting. You look like a man who'd be interested in the finest you of Tibor's look like steel a man. to grace his hand. I bring only the best northern merchandise to the free marches. Hey, I'm looking for Fenrir, baby. Actually, I'm more interested in your son. Son? I have never had that privilege, Sarah. My poor wife. She's back in Antiva and cannot see me often with my travels. That's the best you can do with a god staring you in the face. Let us not ruin the day with such weighty thoughts. Perhaps I could show you my silks. What is this? I know you're scared of him. What is this? We're not Templars, Sarah. Fenriel has nothing to fear from us. Maldithune, you are a mate. Oh, okay. I All right, that's only because be I was, I was like, am I to doing boy fucking who Jedi shit? Being taken in by Templars? To an elf-blooded child abandoned by his human father? Of course we would. The boy is in nobody. What a little cutie tissues. So I sent him she to the only man I know mouth. who doesn't despise mages. Oh, God. A former Templar named Samson. Yeah. Where is he? Does this Samson have a residence Samson. in Kirkwall? No. He is a wanted man. He stays out of sight during the day. At night, he stays near Dark Town. That's the best place to find him. Why is he a wanted man? What happened? Vicento, what is going on? Ferelden Greatsword. Yeah, uh, uh, Vicento, can you give me something that can actually help me? Like a bag? You motherfucker. Alright. Time to go leave this area and go back. So this might be an interesting story quest, so, you know, and it's all in Motown, so, hey, me going, me poo-pooing about it, doesn't seem like it's gonna be helping the situation much anyway. Seems like this is where it's at. This is my time. Mm -hmm. uh, through the window. To me. Let's see here. <laughs> Is that guy just in the cubby? Let's see. We got Samson's Wayward Son and Anso the Contact. Bait and Switch. What is that? What is that? Meet Anso in Lotan at night. I don't even know what that quest is for. What the fuck? Dude, I, I will say, I like the fact that our, there's plentiful quests. Some of the quests in the previous game, they didn't have any, like, uh, I want to say money put into it, but they didn't have a lot a lot of um, baked-in, in-game talk, chatting, or anything built into it, right? Um, but what they do have is... Um, I got sidetracked. People are shooting off fireworks right now. Fucking, <laughs> it's New Year's, baby. People are shooting off fireworks. It's New Year's, baby. Um, but what they did have, they had like a lot of like 
lore packed into like the side quest. Uh, I would read them every Vincento once in a while. Said like, someone might come sniffing around. You're looking for the boy, right? Feign something. What'd you do? I'll eat tell him? you now. There's not much I can do for you. Oh, oh boy. I don't want to tell this mom. I, uh, my character would not want to tell this mom I'm what's going for on. I'm a retired Templar named Samson. Uh, retired. Sounds better than burned out husk of a Templar begging coins in the choke dab. They don't do anything to keep you, you know. You oh join boy. the order, you're free to walk away. But they're the only ones who got the dust. Yeah, he's a d oh yeah, 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 yeah. We we know the reason, Davy. I know the, the reason. Dust. You guys Urium, are addicted. An ore the dwarves mine. Magic in it. Yes. You need to drink the stuff to yep. problem is, if you ever try to stop, oh, it just about kills you. Oh my god. Is it true you give aid to apostates fleeing the Templars? The mages are help. They're no more than children, newly discovered their magic and terrified. Barely left their mother's skirts. And now we're saying they got to be locked away for their own good. That demons are hunting them. Do you wonder they run? You sure you can help? Tell me what you know. Did General come Did to you? Did you meet the boy? Afraid so. Blighter was dead broke though. Not a silver on him. I helped one mageling for free, and I'll never get paid again. Charity to a point, I see. I pointed him to a ship captain I know, Rayner. Sometimes he'll take on runaways. Took another apostate last week. Girl I sent him. Might have gone wrong, though. I heard rumors he took the both of them captive instead. Is that guy a slaver? Please tell me it's not too late to save him. Rumor has it, Rayner had the pair of them locked inside a Keys warehouse. So he close to Dockside. You want to go looking? You might find the lad before he gets ransomed to the Templars. Or worse. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's see. Uh, uh, please stop hurting me, girl. 